Appliances such as refrigerators in our homes are big energy consumers, typically the third highest energy user after heating and cooling and water heating. According to the US Energy Information Administration, most of the refrigerators use about 70% of residential energy to operate annually, which could be much higher if the gasket seals are not functioning properly. Today we are going to check for effective seals by using a dollar bill. If you do not have a dollar bill, you can simply use a piece of paper, like this one. For the test, you would need to first open your refrigerator or your freezer door to place the dollar. Once it's open, then you would need to take your dollar bill and place it between the refrigerator doors. Then try tugging it out. If it offers resistance, it means that the gaskets are good. However, if it fails out easily, then it means that you need to replace your seal as energy is being wasted through the gaps here. Be sure to check your gasket at various spots around the fridge and the freezer so you don't miss out any spots. It's recommended that you keep your fridge temperature between 36 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit and your freezer at 0 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. A good seal will help you keep the cold air in and will help you save money. If you're planning to replace your refrigerator, then consider replacing it with an Energy Star refrigerator. An Energy Star rated fridge saves you up to $72 for the fridge's lifespan. Another tip on how to conserve energy on your fridge is keeping it a few inches from the wall to allow for ventilation space. Additionally, always keep your fridge full as it helps save energy. An alternative to keeping your refrigerator filled with food is to fill up your water jugs and keep it inside. I hope this video taught you how to perform a dollar bill test to ensure that your refrigerator is functioning effectively. Thank you for watching and if you would like to collaborate, volunteer or get a free energy tune-up, please sign up with us at communityweatherization.org today.